Ken Goldman, who was the PI on the grant, has been very interested in education for a long time, and he teaches our entry-level courses. And he was realizing that we really aren't serving our students very well because they are not getting experience in working in teams, in doing design, in doing peer review, the kinds of things that you would do in a company. And so his idea was to take our curriculum and basically try to move it more towards learning these sort of more intangible things. So the lecture paradigm is something that everybody is very familiar with. You know, you get to class, you have your class notes, you sit down and you lecture, and the students sit there and take notes, and that's what they've been doing forever and a day. And they're really used to that. This model, you expect a lot more out of the students in that you expect them to come to class prepared with materials, you expect them to interact in class. If I was to stand up and lecture for 45 minutes, most of them will pay attention for five minutes and phase out, and maybe pay attention for five minutes and phase out, and so on. But I've watched the students, in, especially in these critique classes, you know, not always, but most of the time, I can watch them basically have very intense, constant interactions for 20, 25 minutes at a time. And they're far more awake and engaged than they ever are sitting there and watching a lecture. Because I'm asking them, I, I, they aren't allowed to sit there and listen. I tell them they have to respond, they have to think up questions, they have to actually, and they're graded on that. For faculty, I think, depends a little bit on the faculty. So, for example, I taught martial arts for years. So the idea of standing up in front of a bunch of people and making things up as you go along and, try and answering questions on the fly, maybe not knowing the answer, to me that's fine. I'm very comfortable with that. But for a lot of faculty who've been used to doing these lectures where you have complete control over the class. You know exactly what's going to, you know, what topics you're going to cover, how you're going to cover them, and so on. It can be very uncomfortable to try to switch to this more open-ended, you know, you might have structure to the course, but, you know, students are going to take you in all sorts of different directions. So your course material can wander around a lot, and they may ask questions you don't know the answer to. And that makes some um, faculty a little bit uncomfortable the first few times they do it. Although, almost uniformly, almost all the faculty who've done this a few times around think this is far more fun than to teach in a, a lecture base. When students come back, I think the things that they remember learning best from are almost always uniformly project team, interactive exercises, open-ended exercises. Those are the ones they come back to thank you for. Those are the ones that they're interested in. They don't come back to say thank you for your nice lecture in class X. Um, and certainly from people who are out there in the industry, what we hear from them is that you're going to work in teams. Nobody works in a box anymore by themselves. You're going to be expected to write a lot. You have to write reports and all this other stuff. And so when these people come back, it's like you have to know these how to interact with people, you have to know how to work with people, you know have to you have to know how to take very loose project specifications and turn them into concrete things.